In June's edition of King of the Palace, Summer Edition, Dean Sullivan won the 80% Handicap Championship for the Summer Series. It is now July, and he has decided to forego qualifying for a better spot and start at the bottom of the ladder and work his way to the top. Was this a wise decision, or is he going to pay for his mistake? Or is it a mistake? There's only one way to find out. Welcome everyone to the second edition off season of the King of the Palace. Sponsored by Watch Me Suck at Bowling. The champ, no stranger to the King of the Palace, Mr. Dean Sullivan. And newcomer to the King of the Palace, Casey McCool. Dean, talk to me kid. Throw the ball and let the pins fall, Dave. We know the rules. <laughs> Casey, you got a tall order, man. Defending champ. He's held, he's held every belt, almost every belt. Almost every belt, Dave, right. I'm just looking forward to going against him, and I hope I beat his ass. Ooh. <laughs> we'll see what it looks like at the end of the game. <laughs> All right, well, let's get to the action. Welcome, everyone, to the second edition of the King of the Palace off-season sponsored by Watch Me Suck at Bowling. And sponsored by Watch Me Suck at Bowling. Up first... The number four seed, Casey McCool, the first time comer to the King of the Palace. Sitting in with me this time is, opens up with a spare, Sean Sears and Johnny Blaze, AKA. Ghost Squirrel. Ghost Squirrel. I've always, <laughs> I've always liked Ghost Rider. And Amber. I was gonna say, hey. And George. Hello. Casey working on a spare, leaves about half the peanut gallery is here. Half the peanut gallery no is here. No one can sit in for Steve, though. No. I miss, I miss that guy. Back to back. Well, I hear things are on the up and up, so you might just see him at the beginning of the real the real King of the Palace in September. Yep. Everybody's Maybe October. Born. And up now on Alley 3, the returning king. No stranger to the King of the Palace, Dean Sullivan. I'm sure this has been pointed out before. But he wears that shirt every time he's here. Just like. Yeah, it must be his good luck shirt. Because it's every single time. He just well, he wears a college shirt during the regular season. Here you just have to wear a shirt and make sure your pants don't What's have that? split down sure the middle. Right through the hoop? Through the hoop with no grease. Huh? Yes. I've been paying attention a little bit. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good out of it. Wiggle, wiggle. Nice nine. Dean coming out of Manchester, New Hampshire. His average is a 115. His home alleys are Lita Lanes and Lakeside Lanes. He's been bowling for 45 plus years. His high single is a 187. Oh, what a ball by His Dean. high trip is a 450 and he just wrecked a rack. He's done that a few times while he's been here. Absolutely right. Up now, alley three, Casey McCool working on a spare. I believe this is the first time he was on the on the palace as an actual participant. Yep. Granted, it's the off season, but still. His nickname is Curly, as you can tell. He's a, a Stooge. Wow, three in a row. Stooges fan. Mark comes out of uh, Derry, New Hampshire, and his home alleys are Lakeside Lanes as well, and Park Place Lanes. Another great fill. Show us the <laughs> Had a few of those today. Oh, right around it. Casey ends up with the nine. After four, he's sitting at 65. We got our top-notch monitor built, designed by Watch Your Second Bowling. Some high-quality footage right there. Actually, absolutely right. 
Very impressive. Dean working on a strike. Yeah, still working on the frame rate issue, but. <laughs> Great first ball. What do you think better? I think you just missed the wood. Don't play the wood. Yeah, if you can go to the right side of the front pin. Nice pickup. Just go right there. through. Now oh, these guys are starting hot right now. Casey's got three spares. Dean's got a strike and a spare. Six fill leaves the one, two, six, ten. Form of aces and eights. Yep. <laughs> See if you can send it over. Maybe. Oh, nice bid. Two little things. Wow. After four, Casey's up by 11, 65 to 54. Casey's favorite shot is a strike and the four horsemen. I guess it would be either left or right. And of course, his least favorite shot is everyone's, the spread eagle. Ooh. That ball was in the gutta. He owes me they, some money on that shot. <laughs> thank God it wasn't a fill. That would have been the ultimate El Stinko the Lonus ball, that's for sure. That would have made the highlight reel. Almost left his favorite shot. But Famine decided to bow out. So it's for everybody been doing this summer. Anything fun? Uh, myself, I got married. Congratulations, again. That's about it. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> Nothing else can talk about. <laughs> yeah, the very big thing. Duck Pin Pro Tour runs over the summer, so. Oh, what a nice shot. You said so, the Duck Pin Pro Tour? Yeah, travel down south. Uh, White Oak Lanes, uh, we went to this last time. The next one is actually at Town Hall Lanes in Johnson, Rhode Island, and uh, if there's any candle pin bowlers interested, there might be a guy holding a pre-qualifier. It's like a $35, $40 tournament, and if you qualify one out of six, you uh, get a free entry to the Pro Tour. I'm not sure if he's doing that yet. But, uh, if so, he's gonna do it this next coming week. So. Oh, nice. There's my friend, Bob Kaliri. Tough shot, but it is a makeable shot. Oh, gave it a bid. Leaves the head pin. Wait a second. Oh, that might take it. Wait a second. Use the force, oh. Luke. <laughs> <laughs> no, bowling god's middle finger's waving. Then he tells the bowling gods what he thinks. <laughs> So for those of you one to let you know, Watch Me Suck It Bowling is on hiatus till October or November. This takes too long to uh, to do that and this. I don't have the time. So I'm putting my em emphasis on the summer edition of KOTP. So when it's over, WMS will be back. Ooh. Ooh. Wow, the wood was not his friend on that one. Still be doing impromptus <laughs> and occasionally you might see a live live one, which I did just before we started this King of the Palace session. I haven't done a live one in a long time. KCE on FA3. Ooh. Is that the MK? That is the MK. Takes out another three. I'm glad to see that Amber's just a fountain of knowledge over here. I'm eating a muffin. <laughs> you heard that here, everybody. 
Hey, it's kind of ironic that Cupcake is eating a muffin. It's my partner for the uh, mixed, mixed doubles next weekend at the Outrun up there. Yeah. Don't bash Ooh, her. Ooh, look at that leaf. That's a disaster. Wow. Except, uh, it would be interesting if I ever actually two, need four, our show, six, nine, ten. Cause yeah. Well, it'd be cool, but if you the hoop, no grease again. Absolutely it right. I'm glad like, it's catching on. I can't even talk. Poke fun. It takes me a little while, but I catch on. He's able to work a seven out of that. Well, oh, Casey's leaving the seven. door open a little bit for Dean. Dean just needs to start to capitalize a little bit. A little yeah. trash talking in the beginning, you know. Casey was saying, dropping down the, dropping the line. Let me kick your ass. Yeah. <laughs> Where's Dennis Nuzzo? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where the Nuz is. He's always looking for that controversy or that, that heated uh, the heat of, heated trash talking. Oh, look at this. What a break. I don't know. I thought he was coming the today. The ocean but... still leaves. Yeah, you know. One, you're two, always three, six. Here. Oh, we have five eight. people oh, still, still working. Last commentary. minute. Yes, the. Well, I just had to count us. I thought there was only four. I didn't count myself. <laughs> That's why she's a blonde, ladies and gentlemen. Whoa. <laughs> wow. That's why Sean Sears uh, decided to shave all his hair. <laughs> <laughs> Never know what I am at that point. <laughs> For those of you that are offended, send all your hate comments to the channel New Palace Lanes. Oh, it, it wouldn't be the first time. But you know what's good is I can actually say phony baloney, 10 pin bowling. That's his right to his opinion. Oh. Dean with a great ball. I may not agree, but he has his right. Hey, it's the ten pin. <laughs> Speaking of ten pin, what do you what do you think, Blaze? Come on, this shot. No, no it's all about ten pin. Ten pin, ten pin. Oh ten pin. man, I throw the ball the same way in every game, so it doesn't really matter to me. I like ten pin. Ooh. Ooh. I think it's difficult if you're gonna compete at the pro level in ten pin, especially with what it costs to get in, the travel, and everything. Yeah. I got a lot of respect for the bowlers that do make it uh, to that top level. Um, it's not easy to average 220, 230, and that's what these guys do consistently to make it on ESPN or to win their long tournaments. So it's a tough game. It's not a nine and pick game. You have to throw strikes there. Or you just have to hit the oil pattern right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that oil pattern thing is stupid. Right? That's the only thing stupid about the game. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'm not going to disagree there. I can't bowl 10 pin. I used the kid's ball that was like 6 pounds and it was too heavy. I couldn't throw it. 6 pounds was too heavy? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I don't talk, see? Got nothing. I, I, did, like I did the Jason Belmonte thing uh, one game and my whole score, entire 10 frames was a 26. Ooh. When my worst candle pin score is a 44, that says something. <laughs> 26. We all know what happened when I picked up a duck. Oh, ooh, how did he hit the one in the back? Were you here for that? Wow. I don't think so. Unless it was my Able to curve Josh it in Cole there. Josh the nine pin right out. Oh, yeah. After one of the regular king of the Oh, no. Oh, back through the hole. We were looking at right through the hoop. He gave me one. I was no grease. That's an ugly so two box. Out and him in the that leaves Casey ooh. at 110. Now Dean's working on a 94 with two boxes to go. He has a chance to catch him. Nope. Yeah. A couple of big boxes, so stay ahead of him after the first game. He didn't need that leg. And Dean. Right. So which conversation are you following out there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, there's a bomb. There's a lot. There's a lot going on. I believe on that's right the now. wrecking the rack there. The wrecking the rack. Clean up on aisle three. Dean, I missed it. The Do it mic again. is so sensitive. <laughs> Well, you know, I everything mean, you heard, including the pinfall, the pins, hitting the table when they're set, all from that. That's pretty, that's pretty solid. That's why I say you gotta, that's why I also close the doors to the restroom, because you would hear that. <laughs> Dean drops six, leaves the check mark left. I guess it's better than Dean dropping a deuce. Yeah. Somebody uh, somebody in the peanut gallery last time had a Jetsons ringtone and you could hear that, <laughs> clearly. Oh man. That's why I told him, watch your language. <laughs> they will hear it. Picks up the 10. After one, Casey's at 110 and Dean's at 122. Nice. 
Looks oh. like Dean that showed with the, up. With the handicap? That is with the handicap. So Dean has going in, he's got a 12 pin lead. And Dean only missed two pins that whole game. It's a, it's a key part to winning right there. Up he's now. Especially in a handicap match. Returning King, alley three, match two, box one. Yay! <laughs> the guy who lives in the basement under the lanes. Oh no. <laughs> I mean, There's he spends us down there. Oh, uh -oh. leaves the oh, five wow. pin. The king refuses to bow down. <laughs> <laughs> that, that puppy was hit too. Right in the face. A lot of guides in there too to help out. There it is. No, use one. Yep. Dean's favorite shot is a strike, and his least favorite shot is anything still standing. Oh. Oh. Oh, <laughs> you started too soon. I thought soon. it was going to happen. That's actually not too bad of a leave with the wood over there on the right. Amber and I both. Might be able to sweep it over. Is that how you would play it? I would sweep it over. That eagle's right about there. Nice oh, pick there up. I was going to say that eagle Beautiful is shot from the champ. Straight, Up now on Alley 3, newcomer to the King of the Palace, number number 4 seed, Casey McCool. I think one thing to point out too is that Dean chose not to take the pin option today. Yeah. It's not often that happens. No, so he's actually going to run the ladder. All that's left is... Finger of God. Casey turned around wondering how that happened. He's able to not take advantage. Anymore. Wow, these games are starting off really fast. A lot of marks. Yeah. Both bowlers have come out hot in both games wow. so far. Casey, Casey threw that one in the ocean. He got a good break. He had some spin on that one. It's a little outside. Oh. Yeah, that's eight marks in the first ten boxes. If you're counting just the first halves of both games. Yeah, the first three boxes have been hot boxes for all of them. Afterwards, it's been a little bit rough going, but. No. Let's see if Dean can continue to bury him. Not a bad break. The tough challenge here is he's got 10 games, including any practices before him. Plus the, plus the uh, five games he had to play. Oh, nice pickup. That was different. Go get that pin and throw it down there. Thank you. I think he was just setting up his shot for the next box by sending the wood over there. <laughs> well, you did say that you wanted a piece of wood, right? Oh, no, that was Blaze that wanted a piece of wood in front of the, the rack. Well done by the squirrel. I thought it was going to fly down there, though. See, so George, here comes your editing skills. I want you to uh, Photoshop a squirrel running down the alleys. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, out of the, out in the ocean. You can Photoshop. Yeah, you want to see, you want to see the production Ooh, of the show yeah, drop to like. I don't know why you stopped like when you use four percent the speed. I like that, one. <laughs> that was badass. Yeah, it's not bad. But the squirrel's a lot more fun here. Yeah. Yes. You can do a lot more with it. Yes, that, that's for sure. <laughs> Would take about an hour at 60 frames a second to do that. Well, you, you never put like just that, like uh, uh, you can put a squirrel's head on top of the body. You could just have it pop up once right before he runs down there and be like, squirrel! Yeah, just throw a just squirrel in there. I was going to say, or just dub the audio of like a squirrel chirping yeah. in the background. Or don't touch that squirrel stunts. <laughs> Casey out in the ocean. A uh, tidbit for those of you that have not watched the regular King of the Palace. 
ironically, these are just the nuts. Oh. Good Who is? by Casey. Aren't you allergic to nuts? You are correct. Oh. Oh, kind of oh lost tape. You really know that you can nuts? No, I'm just kidding. Of course. Oh, I did not. I did not know that. That's why the, uh, we actually literally talked about it came. last time he was here. <laughs> What's up? I'm pretty sure we talked about it last time. Yeah, that's why George yeah. brought it he's, all. Oh, wow. He's just kidding. See how he's he's pretending to puff up his face. He even hired this ambulance crew to take him to a hospital. No. He's doing pretty good. Not going to do that. You're like no, no. I've already done that once before. Not the hiring part. Oh, God forbid. I bet it would... I, that's got to be horrifying for people that have an allergy like that. Yep. I told Casey that he had the bull for both of us. He's <laughs> letting me down. After four, Casey's at 45, Dean's at 57. Dean's got a 24 pin lead on the match. So right now it's pretty much academic. He just got to stay pace with Casey. When Dean's not bowling, he's hunting, fishing, and playing golf, and he's also a construction foreman. And he loves his family. Aww. Who doesn't? Al Bundy. Yeah, <laughs> this is true. <laughs> Dean with another knife. Dean and I were, were uh, jaw jacking downstairs, and I told him he'd. What did you he, say? He'd have to wait for me to kick his butt. <laughs> jaw jacking? Never heard of that before? <laughs> I don't think Sean has either, by Never the way. that? Face. No, I haven't. I was just going with it. <laughs> oh. That's what I thought you said. I'm like, wait, what? Nobody's heard of it. Anybody heard of the term jaw jacking? Probably not in the way you're saying it. Jaw jacking. <laughs> no? Whatever. Oh, he owes me That's not that bowling for both of us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a second ball. Come, ball. On. Come on. He almost got the Emily there, but he didn't. That was hit, too. Oh. Wow. oh. Nice bid, no luck. Set it and forget it. Uh, when Casey is not bowling, he works at a, as a cashier for Goodwill. He also enjoys golf, bowling, and video games. There's a lot of people that like video games. Yeah. I like video games. I'm a, I'm a gamer. The only one we found who doesn't really like him that much? The, the Dean oh, of the Palace. Palace. Yeah. I don't yeah, think he but, has time to play them. Well, between all the hunting and fishing? Yeah, Dean, Dean's, Dean's idea of video games is giving him a 12 gauge shotgun and let him go out in the woods. <laughs> I mean, I would play that video He game. likes the, the graphics are much more realistic in that version. I kind of wonder if Dean, you know, when Dean gets home, like, in the woods, wherever he lives, when he opens the door, it's like the sound <laughs> the of deliverance. <laughs> I'm happy just as long as he's not hunting squirrels. <laughs> he did have you run down there pretty quick. Oh. <laughs> so a fox in the three See, that's one, the one thing different about that's always the same in King of the Palace, you always get the same sense of humor no matter what we're doing. Oh, nice bid, no luck. <laughs> Except you don't have Steve screaming and yelling, how does that happen? Well, you know, all three of us are not ready to, but then it didn't happen. We jinxed it. It hasn't happened when I'm sitting behind a microphone <laughs> since it's uh, since I've started talking. We should have recorded Dave during the, the qualifier. <laughs> we could have it would have happened a lot. We could have recorded you during the qualifier. <laughs> it happened to you a lot, uh, too. These, drops nine, leaves a seven pin with a piece of wood up against the, on the line. Yeah, oh, that oh, once other again, wood could be dangerous, though. I looked at the monitor. 
It's right there. Ooh, nice pickup. They still seem to have a problem sticking with the initial frame. It just doesn't keep, it just doesn't move. The problem it's is it's looking at lane three when they're on lane four, and when we're on lane four, it's looking on lane three. It's looking at the wrong camera. Yeah. This is true. So we gotta so get that's it, why we, we gotta get Travis. We gotta get it to stand up. <laughs> Let's see what the one, six, eight, ten. That's an interesting one up there. Oh, oh wow. I almost picked it. <laughs> it's probably first time Jim. Casey wants to give a shout out to his friends Dave, Keith, Matt, and Joey. I'm just reading it, man. I'm just reading it. If he excluded oh, you, then that's a, that's a problem. That's an issue you got to have with him, man. I just read what's on the paper. You mean to tell me he left his teammates out? Wow. That's a oh, shimp that's move right the there. Seven. That's how you hit the seven pin. After eight, with two to go, I'm Casey's at 81. I'm pretty good at hitting the seven pin and the ten pin. So long as all nine of its buddies are there with it. I can hit the ten pin, I can't hit the seven pin. You saved my life. Casey's at 81, Dean's at 99 plus a ball. He's got a 30 pin lead going into the last two boxes. So it was pretty much all academic. You could say that, yeah. 36 pins. It's pretty much all academic. <laughs> or as I like to say, common core could save. Oh, oh wow. I wow. I had that. What do we got next? Dean gets a nine box. Dean off the head pin, but is able to clear it out. Leaves the cluster left. And makes it. Nice pickup. One ball. finishes with a 133. Spectacular bowling by the returning king. Now if we use common core, PC still has a chance. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't understand that. What the hell do you change math? It's math. The numbers all add up to the same thing no matter what you do, so I've never really understood that. I've seen it. I have a little niece that has to deal with it. It makes the most no sense. Oh, nice pickup. I like the way you're adding the scores here. That's triple wins the wrong way to do it. <laughs> Nowadays. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, technically he could still work. Yeah, it's triple wins. Oh, my if favorite had, shot, the half he struck out for the last. He's at Miola's ice cream stand two, right now. He would have lost by it. Oh. Which I believe I'm not is around half a Oh! oh. Uh, that's wow! That's a hell of a way to end. Let's see him pick this up. All that's missing is the Undertaker. <laughs> Want to thank you all for tuning in to Good bowl, King of the no. Palace off season. Sponsored by and produced by Watch Me Suck at Bowling, where we just witnessed Dean Sullivan, the returning champ, defeat first time, first comer, Casey McCool, by the score of 255 to 208. And so Dean Sullivan will move on, and next week he will face Mr. Brian Robinson, the number 
four seed. Three seed. Three. So this should be another great match. And uh, let's go talk to our winner. Welcome back, everybody. I'm here with the returning champ, Dean Sullivan. Dean, I'm going to tell you what. It's the first time I ever heard anybody talk smack. And you put him in his place. Throw the ball and let the pins fall. That's all there is to it. Yep. Now, next week you'll be facing Mr. Brian Robinson. Bowled him before. He's a good bowler. We'll see what happens. We're going to throw the ball and let the pins fall. M man, a few words. <laughs> the, hey, bring it on. There you go, baby. There you go. All right, we'll see you next week when the returning champ, Dean Sullivan, faces Brian Robinson. See you then. It looks like the king is still defending his throne as Casey McCool wasn't so hot. Had a good first game and things fell apart in the second. I would say that was more of beginner's jitters than anything else. Next week, Dean takes on Brian Robinson with a five game qualifier of 572. Will the king still be able to run the ladder or has he made the mistake? We'll find out next week when we continue King of the Palace Summer Edition for July 2018. King of the Palace is brought to you by Kingpin Productions, produced by Georgia 551's World of Crap. Scores displayed on screen came from official score sheets.